back to the racing dories and we're back onto full racing mode and we are here at the lovely circuit of Croft testing for the second round of the 750 Motor Club Club Endurance Championship which is happening here on Sunday the 2nd of June and it's my first time at this circuit. It is only the second time of bringing the loads out since we've uh, rebuilt it and prepped it for endurance. Stay tuned and join us for the ride. I'll just dub over this bit, give you a quick guided tour of cross circuit on our warm up lap here. Heading down the start finish straight into turn one is a super heavy braking zone. You're going to get it turned in and prepared ready for Hawthorne Bend here. Tarmac's super grippy, so you'll love that. A little bit bumpy on the inside there. Going to get the accelerator down progressively here, hold the power through the chicane, and then it's going to be flat out right down to Tower Bend. Kicks to the left a little bit before the braking zone. We're going to mash those brakes hard and we're going to get it turned in and hit the apex like I do here. Not. And then we're flat out again, ready for the Jim Clark S's. Super, super fast chicane section here. You'll absolutely love it. Don't lose it on the right on the way in here, else you'll be in those cornfields over there. And then it's going to be as brave as you like for Barcroft. Heavy braking zone for Sunny in. Going to get the car turned in but you can push it out to the left ready for sunny out here and then you're prepping yourself for the complex section really which is tight and twisty it's going to be suitable for me but hard on the braking get it turned in left we're going to hold it to the curb on the left here and then it's really really tight here on the right and you want to just be mindful that you've got to get your car back over to the right hard braking zone you want to get it turned in so you can get your foot down on the accelerator as soon as possible and there's the lap of Croft circuit just finished session the track is super super grippy doesn't matter what tyres you're on the grip is phenomenal still a little bumpy on some of the inside of the turns which throws you off a little bit I've only done some short sessions at the moment some 30 30 minute stints but all pretty well really enjoying the circuit it's very very fast flowing uh, it's going to suit some of the big brake horsepower cars on the on the back of the circuit but with the lotus i should be able to um should be able to build a little gap on the on the last part of the circuit where it's really tight and twisty and then of course you've got the hairpin before the start finish straight so really enjoying it we'll uh, continue for the day and see how we get on Check out the new mechanic for the team, Tiff. And there's Chris, changing the pads. And uh, yeah, just in the garage, preparing for uh, a long stint. So what we're gonna do is fuel the car up. We're putting on some new pads, uh, which we are gonna bed in first, don't worry. Um, and we're testing out the Nankang AR1 tires. Um, and it's just all about searches searching for some data ready for the three hour endurance race which we've got uh, on Sunday the 2nd of June. Radio on it's the real one. Right. It's got it on. You're out of the deep. Uh, uh, you can't hear me. What are you doing there, Chris? Tomorrow in your uh, right pads, mate. We are trying to bed in some new pads and they keep glazing up. Following the bedding in procedure, uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Who knows? But 
yeah, they keep glazing up and then when we go out for a proper session, I'm coming into a hard braking zone, hit the brakes and the car is just snaking and it didn't do that on the old pads. So um, it's got to be something to do with this new pad. So we're struggling a little bit, but we're going to get it sorted and get back out there and hopefully we get it, we get it nailed and we can get a quick lap in. up here at Croft as you can see I'm standing in a wet pit lane uh, and actually for the last 30 minutes of the day I managed to get a wet session in full wet session which is really good information the day's been absolutely mega uh, cars performed really well we've had a minor hiccup as I mentioned earlier with the new brake pads we've put on followed the bed bedding in procedure and the brakes just the pads just kept glazing up and there's like a grinding wine noise it was difficult to describe um, so I came in the guys took them off we deglazed them started again done the bedding in procedure again um, thought I was perhaps doing something wrong but to be honest we we haven't put new pads on with new discs um, the old discs weren't that old at all they haven't done, done a lot of running and all I was doing was trying to prepare for this three hour race we've got coming up at, at Croft here and uh, I just thought, I said to Chris, let's just change the pads, let's just change everything, make sure we're all prepared. And actually what we should have done, if I was gonna change the pads, I should have just spent out and brought the discs as well. But it's a lot of money on those discs that we're running and I just didn't didn't think we'd have this issue. So um, that's something to learn from. Other than that, the car felt absolutely mega. The circuit on the new tarmac is it's, it's brilliant. Really, really good, really super grippy. Had loads of confidence. It's a little bit bumpy, again, as I mentioned earlier. Some of the turnings throws you off a little bit and you are fighting the steering wheel, but it's super, super fun. I'll just show you actually if I, uh, let me climb up on this pit wall. You'll see this on the footage anyway, on the onboard that I've showed you. But turn one is right down there. Super quick turning. Be careful there's a gravel trap at the end there. And it goes into it's almost like a chicane the first part of the section because it sort of goes left and then kinks right again and then there's a super super fast chicane right there then it goes down to this straight you follow this flat out all the way behind that tree there it sort of kinks to the left but you're still flat and it's a really really heavy braking zone then it's a 90 degree right you follow it round just to those trees over there it then kinks to the left behind those other trees and then there's a really fast chicane. If you watch the touring cars, you'll probably know what I mean. They do a really good camera angle of that chicane um, where they're sort of coming head on. If you get it wrong, you're going into the cornfields and you're going to be buried deep in there and you're not coming out. But it is flat out and the car feels phenomenal. Really, really good there. Um, obviously, I haven't got a lot of power, but it, you know it's flat out for me. It's really good. Then the I love the last part of the circuit. That's probably the it's probably going to be the strength for me in the Lotus. The last part of the circuit is tight right, another tight right, it's a double, double-handed right, then it kinks left, it's like a 90 degree sort of comes back on yourself, then a really tight right, and then the hairpin, which is right down there. The hairpin is super super slow, you have to be really patient, and then you get back on the start finish straight, get your foot to the floor. So, um, awesome day. We've had two lots of weather conditions, really warm all day. This afternoon started to cloud up a little bit, took some rain down, but doesn't matter. Really confident on the circuit, first time here, and uh, yeah, I think we're ready for ready for the weekend. Just a bit of prep to do on Friday, a bit of a check over and a debrief after today, and that's it. So, sorry this video's been a bit mashed together. It's been a while since we've done a video, to be fair, um, getting the kids out of the way. And, you know, it's been really hectic for me and Chris. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna do some more, hopefully. I'm gonna do some of the race weekend if I can, but it is gonna be super busy. Again, that might be a bit mashed together, but um, really fun day today. If you love in the videos, please subscribe, like below. If you wanna know anything about the car or some of the circuits or tires or any technical stuff, I absolutely don't mind giving you all that information. Um, so just comment below and I'll, I'll happily help you. Yeah, that's it. So uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon.